have a confession to make. <laughs> Whoa. I just had to go to a bathroom. A number a one or a number I had to go two. to the bathroom. But why did you need a wheelchair to get to the bathroom? It was that bad. I, it was something went down. I had to <laughs> go to the bathroom. Oh. Oh. Game one tip off finally seconds away. Spanish language version of tonight's game presented by ESPN Deportes. Pierce has Radmanovich on him. That's an interesting matchup. Radmanovich falls behind and Pierce with a nice move to the basket. And Pierce's ball handling ability. That they're allowing too many uncontested shots, guarding shots with their arms down. Mike, he said that's not like us. As much as Garnett has been the key, Paul Pierce. According to Phil Jackson, is still the heart and soul. Draws the foul, banks it in, and one. Paul Pierce for the chance for a four-point play. And here's what you love about it, Mike. Inside out attack. Gets the ball to Garnett, sets up the defense, and then step back, gets the Lakers, that is, in double figures. Bryant now with 10. Radmanovic at 6'10", not a bad defender, but Pierce a little quick for him, and that time Pierce once again knocks it down. And this is the mentality that Paul Pierce has for the foul. Doc Rivers yelling at Dick Pavetta as the Celtics come up the floor. It's been a pretty physical game, but they've let them play for the most part. Garnett gets the roll. He said his role has changed on this team. He doesn't have to score 35 a game anymore for them to win. They're going to the Lakers. The number one seed in the West this year, Kobe Bryant, knocks it down. Beautiful move, and he's got 16. And down on the floor for the Lakers is Paul Pierce. Eddie Lassert, their longtime head athletic trainer, quickly out there to check on him. Didn't see, he was in the midst of that crowd, exactly what happened. Having that right leg, he looks in some pain. You see, he took a shot from his own teammate Perkins. And arm swung around and knocked Pierce down. He's hurting right now. Celtic fans holding their breaths here in Boston. Certainly not the sight the Celtics and their fans want to see. Paul Pierce in a lot of pain. Had to be carried off. Then they put him in the wheelchair as he's going back to the locker room. Obviously in a lot of pain. Can't walk off on his own power. It appears to be the right leg. And it happened in this play in a collision with Kendrick Perkins. Now watch as Bryant drives to the basket. Perkins. By the locker room that when Paul Pierce did go into the locker room, he asked to stand on his own power. The doctors were trying to discourage him from doing that. They were saying, look, don't do it. But then he said, let me try it. Let me try it. So he did finally put weight on both legs as he walked back into the locker room. They're taking a look at it now. Danny Ainge, the general manager, back there with him. And we'll have more for you when we can. To Bujasic. Oh, uh, this is the sight that the Celtic fans want to see of last season during that disastrous year. And he had a host of injuries, and now this huge ovation as their captain and leading scorer returns. Odom with five on the shot clock, drives, reverse, blocked by P.J. Brown. Rondo to Pierce, Pierce for three, bang! Celtics back up by one. Outstanding read by Rondo in transition. There to reject it. Rondo back to Pierce, another three. Puts it in, back-to-back -back three pointers for Paul Pierce. This crowd has absolutely erupted here in the third as Pierce just picks up another foul, and that's going to be number four. In transition, you see Rondo Pierce gets to the spot, delivers the basketball on point, knocks down the first one. It doesn't stop there. Fake penetration finds him again. Good look, good execution, and Pierce rolls. Again, Phil Jackson. Shot clock down to seven. 
Pierce back in the game, shoots over Fisher, knocks it down. 20 for Pierce. Here's what I love about that. You cannot allow to close out a ball game. Vujacic or Fisher to defend Paul Pierce. Well, the Celtic defense, tremendous down the stretch. Celtics take game one. All right, Mike, thank you, Paul. You got carried off. You came back and hit two threes right away. What was going on in your mind through that, the course of that whole injury? Uh, when I when I came down, I heard my knee pop, and I just thought I, I tore it or something. It was it was hurting really bad on the ground. Uh, I know I sprained it, it's sore right now, but you know I, when I got in the back, I, I could put weight on it and, and I could change direction. So I said, hey, I'm gonna get out there. I need to be out here. It's the finals, and I need to be here for my team. And uh, you know I just sucked it up and pushed it. So I'm gonna see how I feel tonight, tomorrow, and go from there. Getting this game one win, we know how important that is, but the way that you guys want it, what do you guys take away from this emotionally, mentally? Well, we got to get off the better starts, understand what they're trying to do, but it's the first time we're playing, we're going to get used to them. Uh, I thought we did a great job on Kobe and the rest of these guys, and these guys are good offensively, so we're going to have to some way, somehow, cut down their open shots and defend better in the first half, and we'll, get, we'll be good. Paul, thank you so much. All right. Thanks. Mike? Tremendous performance for Pierce. Meanwhile, the Lakers, for the first time in his postseason, trail in a series.